Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Wave, and uh, today as you can see we're going to take a look at the S&P. So before we get started, a couple of announcements. My apologies if I've vanished, but uh, as I also um, you know, send out a message in the Discord, um, I was busy. I graduated uh, last Monday, so now you could say I am uh, a licensed, um, if, you, if you will, a mathematician. So that's what's up basically. Um, and now I'm doing my master, also in mathematics, so it's going on. I'm adjusting to the new schedule, so that's why uh, you may see a bit less videos. Um, my plan is record as much as I can during the weekends so that I can post them out throughout the weekdays. Um, and I figure we'll, we'll just get back started with the S&P as, uh, if I'm not mistaken, haven't been following the markets um, a lot lately as I've as I said, I was pretty busy, um, as well as stressed. Uh, but um, it seems to, oh no, I seem to have heard that uh, we are going to. There's going to be uh, rate cuts in the U.S. The Fed announced a rate cut, a rate cut, and it looks like if we look at the futures market, here's the S&P, here's the Nasdaq. It looks like um, it's it's actually, uh, you know, it's it's not a rumor. It's happening. Um, so. As I would, this is Russell 2000, these, these, this is the Dow. Um, so all features are up, uh, the Nasdaq 1.2, the Russell 1.2, um, the DAX is also up um, before the, the market opens, the German market opens. And uh, here we are with the S&P. So what is happening? So as you can see, I have this potential count, one, two, three, four, five. As I've always said, uh, there's no invalidation by just a couple of dollars uh, between four and two. Now, the problem with this is, as you may see, this count is suggesting. Oh, and by the way, I I did have a problem with my monitor, so I'm recording on my computer screen. Hopefully, it'll be a good quality um, and uh, you'll be able to see. Uh, so, yeah, apologies for that, too. So, as you can see here. I'm suggesting we are resuming lower and to C of 2 to then bounce higher. Now, is that realistic? So, there's two scenarios here possible. The first one is I'm right here and we're going down, and that would be basically uh, buy the rumor, sell the news. They, you know, market makers will sell on the rate cut, causing fear for some reason to buy back at cheaper prices. The other scenario is, and here it opens up to a different well, other way to count possibilities. This is here, and now this guy is the limit. And this was a one, two. Is that possible? Yes, we're going to explore that in just a second. Um, the other alternate is, so actually, let's bring up our folder. Okay, so. This completed, which you may argue about better, but that intermediate wave two is very short. Yes, 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 we'll get there. Give me a second. So let's say um, this count is right, is correct. I'm right, the count is correct. Um, and we are going to the moon. Is that possible? Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, not much to say really. Um, 5500 uh, has been providing support, which is good. Next target would be 58, then 6, and so on and so forth. Next big level would be 65,000, sorry, 6500 um, right here. Um, and this is possible. Now, at this point, you may ask, Barrett, as you said, as I said, and you might have thought about it, that wave 2 is pretty short. Yes. So, let's see if, okay, this was another count, which I basically still, we would need to see downside. But what I wanted to show you is, what if we've had um, okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, upside. 
would that be realistic? Yeah, why not? Um, here you could say you could have one, two, three, four, five. This is also possible. So let me. So let's say um, um, three in the making. And uh, as you can see here, the degrees changed because somehow I have this in here. Um, it would it just uh, yeah you need to check it long term counts which I did at some point in older videos but yeah this would be one two one two three four five three four five so as you can see extending within this wave three which it doesn't matter that much uh, the degree of this wave it, what matters is it would pairing up to this wave one which I mean it's possible I would take a side here so um, at this point, you may ask, Bear, what's your, what's your best guess? <laughs> I wish I knew. Um, so my honest answer is, here you could say this was a bit sideways compared to this, so we we would have alternation, right? And uh, you know, especially if you get one two one two after the news, it would make sense. Um, the other count as we agreed on. I'm sure you, you also nodded when I said it. This is pretty short. That is, I think it's shorter than this way four. Yeah, this way four is a bit longer than this correction. So that makes me think, if they are pretty much similar in length, it makes me think they are at the same degree. The correction of the same degree will tend towards equality. If you've been around the channel, you you know you've heard it several times even probably one uh, one too many so that's what's what's happening now you could argue could we have a way for in here i guess we could if you really wanted to put it there but if we zoom in and uh, we are going to do so now so straight into the hourly okay so if we zoom in here what uh, and obviously as you as you know if you've been around Dreamview likes to move my waves my compliments to Dreamview okay so at this point you may ask do we have five ways in one yes we do yes we do which if um, I recall it was a count that I had a um, couple of um, maybe a couple of weeks ago. So three down. Okay, one two. So at this point, it may look like well one two three four five. Yeah, it may even look like you know this and if we look at the futures you know it looks like you know we're falling we're, we're zooming higher all good so yeah overall this looks pretty bullish so i would be bullish um you know we, we've got good news in terms of interest rate cuts which is what people want again what I've seen many times, you know, the the whole thing about you know by the by the rumors, uh, the rumors sell the news. Many times I see that happening. Um, so if we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen. So far, I have reason to be bullish. If we do this, I will still be bullish, and uh, I will see this as again by the rumors sell the news. And. Um, Personally, I will not be trading, uh, let's say, short term these markets. Why, you may ask? Um, I just told I told you at the intro. I'm really busy these days. Um, really focused on uh, starting and getting used to the new schedule. But, but, um, I might look for some long uh, long term opportunities on a few individual stocks for my long term portfolio. Um, so Apple obviously is my l main position. And it's looking pretty good. I will update it. Um, you guys let me know. You know, 
I, if you guys let me know what you guys would like to see in terms of stocks as well, you, you can always join the Discord and uh, ask there. Um, you know, for updates, share me, share your accounts, get a feedback. Not that I'm uh, the best one on earth, but um, if you want a feedback, I'm more than happy to give it for to you. And obviously, it's absolutely free. Um, but um, yeah, I, I'll be looking for individual stocks. There's CRM also that's looking interesting, and PayPal is actually moving nicely now. Um, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Uh, but um, but yeah, as, as far as the S&P is concerned, the stock market, the index is concerned, I'll be bullish. Uh, I will try to do a NASDAQ update, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, this weekend is going to be Bitcoin, and then we'll resume the schedule um, as much as I can. So any questions as usual, let me know in the comments. Any Anything, just let me know in the comments to join the Discord. And let me know. And um, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to help out the channel. It's really appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.